What's up, everyone? It's Tech Trooper 64, and today is October 21st, 2015. And today, uh, Justin Trudeau, the brand new elected Prime Minister of Canada, in other words, the leader of the Liberal Party of Canada, who was elected on Monday, has just made a little uh, interview with the star regarding how there's violence against women in the music industry, pornography, and many other causes. Now, you're probably wondering, you know, why am I making this video? I'm not turning into a social channel or a, a, what's called a political channel, but here's, it actually has to do with video games. He says something all the way at the bottom of the page of the link I'll leave in the description. Here's what he has to say about Gamergate. Oh yeah, here's what he had to say. Now, uh, when he, when the interviewer Pelletier told uh, Trudeau if he was a feminist, he said he was proud to be a feminist. He said, yes, yes, I am a feminist. I'm proud to be a feminist. My mom raised me to be a feminist. My father raised me. He was a different generation, but he raised me to respect and defend everyone's rights. And I deeply grounded my own identity in that. I am proud to say that I am a feminist, he said during a por portion of the interview that was not aired. There's things we see online, whether it is issues like Gamergate or video game misogyny in popular culture. It is something we need to stand clearly against. Both Pelletier and Robertson agree that it's women's economic inequality. Women earn about 80 cents for every dollar a man earns that makes them vulnerable to abuse. So that's the the article goes on to talk about how music and pornography are contributing factors to violence against women. But, Justin Trudeau, I, I doubt you're watching this video, but if you do, he, hear me out on this. I don't know if you've been following the gaming industry at all, but the reason why Gamergate and feminism it ha has been blacklisted in the gaming industry mostly is not because a lot of men hate women. Well, uh, it exists. Like, don't, tell, don't get me wrong. I know it exists, and unfortunately it does, but... It happens, but what I'm saying is the reason why it's such a bad word in the gaming industry is because we have people like Anita Sarkeesian who is ruining, like, like let's not lie, they're trying to make a fight out of something that can be discussed peacefully. Now, I was on Facebook the other day, and I was looking around, and I saw a picture of how uh, it showed that this is what feminism was supposed to be, and it showed, uh, if I find the picture again, I'll put it up on screen right now, but it showed how the top picture was like how this is not what feminism is, and it shows that a woman was dominant over the man, and then the bottom said this is what feminism is supposed to be, where it showed the man and a woman shaking hands, and it showed that they were equal. So it's true, that's what feminism is, but... When you have extremists like um, Anita Sarkeesian out there who push for a cause to be super extreme and to make sure it gets rid of all of men, like she she said it once publicly, she wants all men to just be lower than women. And it's it's sad to see it because I really have a lot of respect for her for what she's trying to do, Anita Sarkeesian. I don't necessarily hate her. But the way that she's sh trying to demonstrate what she's trying to fight for is not the right way to do it. Like, it's kind of like selling something to someone. You kind of want to entice them. Like, for example, let's say I invite, in, I invite, <laughs> invent my own uh, MP3 player. And I see that there's a bunch of teenage girls, let's say, for example, who want to buy my MP3 player, but they just don't see a point to buy now. And I say, okay. So, you know, I'm just going to grab a random band out of the nowhere. Um, One Direction. Let's say, hey, if you buy my MP3 player, you're going to have a, you're going to have a free uh, album of One Direction right on your MP3 player for free if you buy my MP3 player. And they're obviously going to jump ship because they're going to say, hey, look, I can buy this and I get it right away. What I want. Now, it's the, almost the same thing with feminism, how you need to entice people. It's always been that thing that you have to yell, you have to be aggressive, you have to like be rude to people to get your point across, but that's not the case. You can try uh, persuading people to be on your side. 
instead of being rude to people and straight up saying you guys are stupid if you don't fight for feminists like you're you're just causing another fight you're adding oil to the fire but if you want to persuade someone you can say listen hey guess what like i would love to see a marketing campaign one day say hey you know what uh guess what if you become a feminist or if you support feminism for example you know you're an awesome guy and a celebrity can come out and say and and say straight up that like he'll say he'll say your name and say hey you know this guy some and some let's say uh, da- John Doe is amazing guy because he follows feminism i'd love to see a marketing campaign like that uh, about how feminism and women should be treated with respect problem is is that going to happen no because we got people like Anita Sarkeesian who think that we have to push. We have to be aggressive. We have to yell to get our points across. Here's another thing. If, like, let's think about parents for a second here. If you raise your child, if you were raised, like, people who are in their 20s and 19-year-olds now, like, think about this. If you were raised that your parents were yelling at you when you did something wrong, did it really stop you from doing, from stopping you from doing the bad thing they didn't want you to keep doing? Or did you keep doing it afterwards? Like in most cases, it might be different in some cases, but in most cases, you're probably going to say, yeah, I kept on doing the same mistakes that my parents didn't want me to, even though they yelled at me to stop. Why? Because if you yell at someone, it's not going to help the problem. It's going to even add more to the problem. And you're going to give more reason to hate. And I think it was another YouTuber who said how there's always a village idiot of a group of people who are fighting for a cause. There's a village idiot that if they do one thing, they think the entire group's like that. It's like that with gaming. Like, everybody thinks that a gamer is a guy, a man or a woman who is in their late 30s or early 30s, whatever, who stays in their parents' basement staring at a screen playing video games all day. That's the stereotypical thing of gamers. Now... In the eyes of gamers about feminism, here's what we see feminists. We see feminists as these terrible terrors like Anita Sarkeesian who are extremists and they're rough and rude. And you could make the point across that, um, you know, there's no such thing as extreme feminists. They're all feminists. Yeah, they can maybe be all feminists, but let's say uh, that, hey, why not bring the Nazis into this, for example, just as a comparison? Hitler was truly, uh, like, an extremist of, I guess, I, I, I didn't really research that part very much, but he was an extremist of a certain cause that wasn't that extreme. Like, maybe there was a certain hating of the Jews, and it wasn't, like, a, a really hate-hate, like, you want them to die, but, like, you didn't really respect them. And it's like, okay, I don't respect them, but I don't want them to die either. Well, Adolf Hitler thought, hey... Let's go to the next extreme. Let's go extreme here. So what I'm trying to say is there's always extremists. And those extremists always make it worse. Like, have you ever, like, name me one extremist who has done a good thing for the industry. Like, again, Anita Sarkeesian, she seems like an awesome woman who's trying to fight for a great cause. Problem is, she's not doing it the right way. I'm not saying I'm doing I could do it the right way either. It's hard to carry a weight like that on your shoulders. But if you commit to it, if you ask people to help you instead of being rude and doing it yourself, then it'll be better. Wow, this video will be almost 10 minutes long. Anyway, so tell me in the comments down below what you think about Justin Trudeau's comments about Gamergate and feminists and how he thinks that video games is misogyny has misogyny in popular culture make sure to let me know in the comments down below what you think about this and make sure to rate comment favorite and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time oh and uh trudeau you might want to think about what you're saying before you uh you say anything because literally dude you were elected two days ago and i've already started seeing people who hate you like who are already hating your cause so before you say anything further Think a little bit what you're going to say before you say it. It's just me. Anyway, make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.